Is a mechatronics engineering major or a mechatronics engineering degree worth it? That's what we're gonna be going over today and this was a highly requested topic. This seems to be a really hot, relatively new degree and first thing we're gonna do is we're going to define exactly what it is. So basically this one is going to be a combination of several different engineering specialties. So it's kind of gonna be like a mechanical engineering degree mixed with electrical, computer engineering, and even a little bit of software. So you're basically going to be able to design really awesome robots like Michael Reeves. Whoa. Well, not exactly. It's sort of like that, but most of the time it's going to be used for the purposes of automating processes. You're usually going to be creating, operating, testing, and maintaining different machines that you create for the purpose of automation, specifically in the manufacturing industry. Now, this is definitely one of the more hands-on types of engineering. A lot of the time, they're almost considered to be technicians and engineers at the same time. And this one is growing. In fact, it's actually bigger in other countries than it is in the United States. It's just starting to you know, pick up popularity here in the US. But at this point, there's only a few hundred people graduating with a degree every year. Now we're gonna go ahead and talk about four different important categories with this one. And the first one is going to be earning potential or salary. With this degree, you would expect to make around $70,000 a year starting out and 122,000 in mid-career pay. And that's really good, especially if you compare it to the highest paying degree and one of the lowest paying degrees, you'll see that it's on the better side of things. Now, mechatronics engineering, like I said, is pretty new and so you're not gonna find any data on BLS when it comes to this specific career. However, one that's really close to this would be an electrical or an electronics engineer and they make around $101,000 a year or $48 an hour. Now some careers that are similar to mechatronics at the associates level as well as the bachelor's level are going to be listed on the screen right now. These are some of the ones that you might wanna look into if you're interested in this. Now one thing I always like to point out is engineering, at least historically up to this point, has been the best paying type of degree, meaning over a lifetime, you're gonna make around $3.5 million with an engineering degree, whereas all other types of degrees are around 2.4 million. And like you saw, although there's not very much data, this one is definitely pretty high paying, and I think it has a lot of potential, especially in the near future. Automation is coming, whether we like it or not, processes are going to be streamlined, and this is one of those careers that specializes in that. And it's also just really cool overall. I mean, just being able to program robots and figuring out the interface between the electronics, the mechanics part, as well as the software part. That is just awesome. So overall, I'm going to give this one a score of 9.5 out of 10. Next, we're going to be talking about satisfaction, and this is a very subjective section. It could be completely different depending on the person and the situation. However, according to Payscale, Mechatronics has a meaning score of 47%, meaning 47% of people think that this degree and the careers that it leads to significantly significantly positively impact the world. Now you can compare that to one that has a very high and a very low meaning score and you'll see that it's kind of on the lower side of things, maybe average at best. And you can sort of see this with a lot of degrees that involve automation and all that sort of thing because you're not necessarily helping all that many people, you're kind of just automating a process. That doesn't mean that it's not very useful and the one that I found that was closest to that in terms of a career would be an electromechanical technician and they have about a 56 percent meaning score so a little bit better and when you look at the job satisfaction it's around 72 percent so that's definitely higher than average if you look at one that's really good like clergy or one that's not so good like parking lot attendant now another thing i like to mention is engineering degrees in general tend to not be regretted very often so they're actually the third least regretted type of degree only about 15 percent of people who major in engineering regret it and the main reason is because some of the best jobs require advanced level degrees now again i just want to say this is a very subjective section. It could be different depending on where you live, the people you work with, your job, your boss, the career path that you decide to go down, the industry that you're in. There's so many different things that can affect job satisfaction and meaning. So take this section with a grain of salt. Honestly, for one person, it could be one out of 10. For another person, it could be 10 out of 10. But overall, I'm going to give this one a score of nine out of 10. I think I'm a little bit biased here, but this one just sounds awesome. I mean, being able to program robots sounds extremely useful and also just awesome and I have a little project planned on this channel that is sort of going to be integrating this so stay tuned for that and it was inspired by Michael Reeves and some of those other guys who create these awesome robots on YouTube what an interesting and thought-provoking idea anyways next section is going to be demand and this is really tough for me to score just because it's such a new degree in 
and career. So you see here that electromechanical technicians, uh, there's around 14,600 of them and they're growing at 3%, which is about as fast as average. If you look at electrical and electronics engineers, it's kind of the same thing. 328,000 jobs and it's growing at 3%, which is average. And then of course, mechatronics engineering itself is not going to be on BLS because it's just such a new career that they haven't updated on there yet. But when you type in mechatronics engineering degree on monster.com, around 482 jobs pop up, which is not good either. You can compare that to a degree that is known to have high demand and one that's known to have low demand, and it's actually below the lower one. If you look at glassdoor.com, it's kind of the same thing, only about 22 mechatronics engineering degree jobs pop up, so not great. However, when they survey big companies and ask them what type of college graduates are they looking to hire at the bachelor's level, almost always number one is either engineering or business. And so in this case, for instance, since the survey that I'm looking at here, engineering was number one. Businesses are constantly looking to hire people with engineering skills, and a lot of the time, even if they're not specifically looking for say a mechatronics engineer, if they see that you graduated with that degree, they're much more likely to hire you. Now there's many reasons for this. It's because engineering degrees are pretty well respected. And then also they know that people who graduate with engineering degrees tend to be really smart and hardworking. And a lot of the time businesses have the hiring philosophy that they are just going to hire the smartest possible people. So they're gonna hire smart people and then they're gonna train them to do the job later on. However, I have to be fair, the data does not look good here, even though the reason for that is probably probably because it's just such a new degree and career. Nobody really knows what's gonna happen in the future. Um, I'm very bullish on this career and this degree. I think it's gonna get bigger and bigger in the future, but I can't say that for sure. Another thing is that degrees that aren't recognized, like mechatronics engineering, sometimes it takes some time for people who are hiring managers and business owners to get used to that degree. So for instance, a hiring manager or business owner might have hired 10 mechanical engineers before. And so when they see mechatronics engineering, it's sort of an unknown. And so instead of just taking a chance and trying to figure you know, out whether mechatronics engineers are good, they're probably just gonna hire another mechanical engineer. It's almost like having real estate within business owners and hiring managers brain. And so in many cases, depending on what career you're going for, it might be a safe bet for you to just get a mechanical or electric engineering degree instead. So overall, when it comes to demand, I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10, but again, 10 years from now, maybe it'll be a nine out of 10, or maybe it'll be a five out of 10, who knows? Next, we're gonna be talking about X factors, which is anything that's important that I didn't go over in the other sections. So I mentioned before that engineering degrees over a lifetime make more than any other type of degree, at least up to this point, around 3.5 million versus 2.4. But another thing that I like to point out is engineering degrees make really good money all across the board, no matter what career path they end up going down. Even totally unrelated career paths like art and legal services, engineering degrees are making over $3 million over a lifetime, which is much higher than the average of 2.3 and 1.8. Now, there's a lot of speculation about what the reason for this is. You know, maybe engineering degree graduates are just really smart and they would have made a lot of money no matter what they did, even if they dropped out of high school. Or maybe it has a little bit to do with the practical problem solving skills that you learn as an engineer. Who really knows? Nobody really knows. I think it has a little bit to do with both. Now, when it comes to skills, of course, mechatronics engineering isn't gonna be listed here on ZipRecruiter, but something that was pretty similar would be electromechanics, and that ranked 58 out of 100. And if you compare that to the highest ranked skill of software engineering and the lowest ranked skill of, I believe it was sewing, industrial sewing, you'll see that it's kind of in the middle or maybe even higher side of things. But again, this might not be a fair comparison because electromechanics is not the same thing as mechatronics and I'd say Mechatronics is likely going to rank higher when they finally do get it on the skill index. Now, when it comes to the likelihood that something will be automated, mechanical engineers, for instance, have a 1.1% chance of being automated. So I would assume that Mechatronics is probably going to be the one doing the automating not being automated itself. And when it comes to outsourcing, I don't think this is a career that you're gonna have to worry too much about being outsourced because you're gonna have to be there using your hands in person, speaking with people, uh, you know, using your communication skills, leadership skills are probably gonna come in handy as well. So I highly doubt that this one will be outsourced because of the combination of, you know, practical hard skills as well as soft skills that you'll have to learn in order to be a successful mechatronic engineer. And one of the cool things about engineering is, is the number 
number one degree that creates the most millionaires and billionaires and it's very tough so be ready for that but if you can tough it out it's extremely rewarding and i also think that engineering degrees are relatively flexible and well respected so if you get an engineering degree thinking you're going to become a mechatronics engineer and then things don't work out chances are you'll be able to pivot over to something else relatively easily that will also be well paying and hopefully something that you enjoy so overall i'm going to give this one a score of 8.5 out of 10 when it comes to x factors so when you add all those up and divide it by four you're going to see that it has an overall score of 8.5 out of 10 that's excellent uh, this is definitely a great option if you're the right person i will say that this one was hard to research for just because it's so new i think it's actually more popular in some other countries than it is here so keep that in mind but if i had to bet on this one i'd say it's definitely going to take off within the next 10 to 15 years now if you want me to make a video on a specific college degree these videos take a long time to research and make so if you don't want to wait for that you can check out my college degree ranker down in the description below in my patreon with that ranker i've basically compiled all of the best resources from around the internet into one easy to read spreadsheet that'll make it very easy for you to compare different degrees and figure out what the right one is for you if you haven't done it already gently tap the like button hit the subscribe button ring the notification bell and comment down below any thoughts comments criticisms etc that you have on the video share the video that actually helps a lot when you share with the algorithm check out my other videos right here i made them just for you Thank you.